Hello YouTube, Sidekick here in my trusty F-14B Bombcat for another video about dropping bombs in the F-14. Today uh, we're dropping iron bombs again. This time we're going to go out and do it in a computer target mode, which is basically a CCRP mode. We'll talk about more about that when we get out to the range. In the Tomcat, this is referred to as computer target mode. It's set uh, with the dial selector in the back seat, so we will have set ourselves up in that mode um, by the time we take off. So um, let's talk a little bit about computer assisted bombing modes. If you watch my channel regularly you'll know that we have talked about this before. Um, one of the major advances in the 1960s in ground attack was the development of a computer that could predict where the bombs were going to fall by constantly measuring the slant range to the ground. The first of these computers, the one in the A4 and later the F4, allowed the pilot to designate a point on the ground during the bombing run. The computer would then take over and time the release of the bombs so that they could hit the designated target. And this was really the forerunner of what we now call CCRP, or Constantly Computed Release Point. Um, so CCRP is equivalent to what the uh, Tomcat calls Computer Target Mode. The other mode, CCIP, is equivalent to what the Tomcat calls Computer Pilot Mode. Basically, CCIP came about because of the next innovation in the process, which was the development of a HUD that made it possible to project the cues on the screen in front of the pilot that were actually related to what the pilot was seeing on the ground behind the HUD. This actually uh, takes a little bit of doing. Uh, it requires pretty tight integration from the air-to-ground radar and with the computer that sort of did the math in real time to figure out basically how the points on the HUD mapped to the points that were uh, on the ground behind it. So with this technology in hand, it was now possible to improve the original bombing computer. Essentially, the HUD prediction put two modes, or made two modes available to the pilot. The first one, pretty analogous to the original implementation, was to let the pilot designate a point on the ground through the HUD, and then again time the drop, but also provide steering cues to the pilot to ensure that he stayed on line until the release occurred. This, as anyone who's ever tried it in the A4 will know, is a major limitation of the bombing computer in the scooter. It knows when to drop the bombs, but it assumes that you know how to fly straight and level, and it doesn't tell you if you're not. Okay, we'll continue that discussion in a minute. We're just about ready to take off here, rolling down the runway. Trying to keep it straight. And right about there, we're going to rotate. Gear up, flaps up. We're just going to head out to the range like we usually do, so we're just going to do a left turn here in a sec. Gain some altitude, come to the range at around 10,000 feet, and then we'll be able to get started. So, as I was saying about uh, computer-assisted bombing modes, this first mode was known as a Continuously Computed Release Point, or CCRP, because the pilot designates the target and the computer decides when to release the bomb. The second mode that was developed was one where rather than automating the process, the computer just provides a prediction to the pilot about where the bombs would land, leaving it to the pilot to steer that point over the target on the ground. This mode uh, has become known as CCIP, Continuously Computed Impact Point, because the computer just tells the pilot where the bombs are going to land and lets the pilot steer that point over the target on the ground. Now, CCIP, or Computer Pilot Mode, was what we used last time in the Bombcat. And I have to say, uh, in DCS, CCIP is often seen by a lot of players as the better mode for dropping bombs. I think mainly that this, uh, has the, this reputation has to do with one of the features of CCRP, which is that the pilot doesn't have to keep the target in sight in order for CCRP to work. He does with CCIP. Now, once the computer knows where the target is, the pilot can pull up until the target's below the nose, and the computer will still know where the target is and when to release the bombs. For this reason, CCRP seems to have developed a reputation for being a level bombing mode. I don't actually think that it's true. I think you can dive bomb with CCRP as well, but it does tend to affect the way DCS pilots view the mode, and it, and it affects its accuracy, because honestly, following the steering cues when you're flying level very accurately in level flight is actually much more challenging than aiming the plane at or uh, in the near vicinity of the target. So CCRP used in level bombing mode does not tend to, tend to generate accurate results like CCIP does in dive bombing mode. And I guess we're going to <clears throat> put that to the test here today because we're going to use the Tomcat mode that is equivalent to CCRP, com 
your target mode, but we are going to use it in dive bombing. So I have a queue on the screen. Um, I've moved the actual designation queue below the flight path vector so I can aim above the target. And um, the trick I'm going to have to pull off is designating the target when the diamond is over the target. I will be able to use the camera to help me refine that aim. And I can't move it left and right, so this is where the trick comes in. Because what I will have to do is roll in as if I was going to attack the target normally. Get the bomb fall line lying across the target, pull the flight path vector above the target and let the diamond come up to the target, and then look in the camera and time the designation using the camera. Uh, it sounds kind of complicated, but it's actually, uh, it works pretty well once you uh, practice it a little. We'll see that working here in just a minute. Now, but bear in mind, in DCS, people will tell you that CCRP is not as accurate as CCIP. So why is that? Well, I think it basically comes down to some extent to personal preference, but also to some extent to consistency. I mean, the great advantage of CCIP is that since it leaves all of the variables in the hand of the pilot, it is effectively a much easier system to use. And particularly, it's quite possible to make up for a poor approach or a poor roll in geometry. In effect, CCIP allows you to correct in real time for frankly bad flying and still hit the target, or at least get close. Without putting too fine a point on it, I'd maintain that this may actually be the secret to its popularity in the sim community, because for amateur pilots, it's just easier to use. Because CCRP uh, just really requires a lot more practice uh, to get consistent. So I'm going to give it a shot here. As I said, I'm using it uh, rolling in the same way I normally do. I'm going to try and get the flight path vector coming across the target, the bomb fall line lying across the target, waiting for the diamond to come up and designate. I've designated, I'm pickling, and the bombs are already gone. So you see, I had to get on the pickle pretty quick after the designation, kind of like as if I was flying an A4. So let's take a look and see what kind of results we get with the target impact tracking script. Uh, the bomb damage assessment would indicate that we did all right. So well, let's just see what uh, the numbers have to say. Well, those are pretty decent numbers. I don't think I've done much better than that in the Tomcat. Not the highest drop in the world, but a pretty accurate one. So I, I would say that CCRP doesn't have to be used in level bombing mode and can generate results that are as accurate as CCIP. But achieving those results requires flying a very consistent approach. And if you screw it up, you don't really have much of a chance to fix it. So if you spend your time in DCS just wanting to go out and drop bombs on things uh, without really worrying about perfecting the technique, then it's going to be obvious that CCIP is really a much easier system to use and the much more natural one for most people in DCS to probably gravitate to. But, you know, that does beg the question, um, you know, is CCRP ever a better mode than CCIP? Because CCIP is pretty good, but is there ever a reason why you'd want to use CCRP instead? Well, there might be, and it basically has to do with the attack geometry, and particularly to do with the dive angle. And as I have talked about before in another series of videos, the shallower the dive angle, the faster the actual impact point moves across the ground, which does make it harder to pickle accurately in CCIP mode. Also, the faster you fly, or the higher you are, when you try to use CCIP mode will reduce your ability to be accurate. So CCRP does offer some advantages so long as you can get an accurate designation, which is, you know, a bit of a thing. But anyways, we're going to try that here. We're uh, higher up, uh, farther back, but also diving more shallowly. We'll try and uh, use the TCS video to get a good accurate designation, and then um, we'll up the throttles a little bit and try to get going a little faster. So once again, the secret is a good roll-in. we got to get the uh, bomb fall line over the target, get the diamond coming up to the target, and we will designate right about there, add some throttle, which will also bring the nose up a little. Just stay on the pickle button, there go the bombs. It's a decent standoff uh, from the target. Let's see if we can see how we did this time. Well, it's uh, pretty hard to argue with that. And, and those are parameters that would have been more difficult to manage in CCIP, I think.
Listen, if you don't believe me, um, go out in the Harrier and say, do a drop at 45 degrees and then do an, another one at 25 degrees. And there you see our results, which are pretty decent. Quite a bit higher up than the last time and still good accuracy. Uh, my point is that if you do that in the Harrier, you'll figure out that it's way easier to hit the target at the higher di dive angle. Because the Pippa really does move a lot slower when you're diving steeply. So, for short, high angle of attack, or high dive angle dives onto a target, CCIP really does make sense. But if we're doing things a little differently, CCRP can have some advantages. I mean, the ability to designate the point well before the final dive uh, means you have time to line yourself up and aim at the target at a longer range. And you can't afford to take more time and des designate with more accuracy. Um, for instance, you can dive at the target at a steeper angle and then flatten out and speed up. Uh, and then since you're not trying to time the release, you can let the computer do that accurately. And of course, the natural extension of this is that you can use CCRP to drop bombs in level bombing mode. You can even use them to toss bombs and, and thus generate more standoff than is possible with CCIP. So that's what we're going to do in this run. As you can see, we've moved much farther back and much higher up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to designate the target from back here. Uh, and then I'm, I'm not actually going to pull up, but I'm going to start adding a significant amount of power. I'm going to go to full burner, and you'll find that the airplane not only speeds up, but the nose starts to rise, and that's going to give us a fair bit of standoff when we launch the bombs. But you'll also see that it's harder to stay online when you do this, because when you're not pointed at the target, um, the plane doesn't rotate around the aim point anymore. The aim point moves when you roll, and that just makes it harder to uh, drop accurately. You'll see what I mean in a sec. We're coming up on the target once again. We should be able to designate fairly accurately. Now I'm going to put the coals to her. Uh, I'm literally not touching the stick, but as you can see, I do have to work pretty hard to stay on the line. Uh, and any small amount of motion moves me uh, left and right of the line, which just makes it harder to drop the bombs accurately. Now, uh, on the other hand, we did generate a lot of standoff. If I'd wanted to pull away, I certainly would have been able to pull away long before the bombs arrived. And, um, you know, to be fair, they arrived pretty accurately. So even though it was harder to stay online, uh, it was still a very accurate drop. And it was certainly uh, higher and farther away from the target than we probably would have been able to achieve with computer pilot or CCIP mode. And there you see the results, 15 meters from the target from 5,000 feet altitude from 4 kilometers standoff range, pretty decent result. So I think that if you, uh, if you are careful, uh, the CCRP mode, the computer target mode in uh, the Bombcat can be very useful, especially in certain situations where you have the ability to drop, uh, to start your run from farther away and you want to drop from, from higher altitude. So I hope you found that informative and useful and you enjoyed that. And for now, this is going to be Sidekick, signing off.